Hi, and welcome to another episode. And today I'm going to do a review on one of the most popular choices when it comes to trail runners for hiking, the Ultra Timp 3s. Then in the end, I will announce the winner of last week's giveaway. So stay tuned. I don't know if you have noticed, but this channel is almost up to 1000 subscribers. And since that is a really magical number to reach, I would very much appreciate your support and that you hit that subscribe button now. It would be really awesome if this channel could hit the 1000 mark already this week. Anyway, now it is time to take a closer look at the Ultra Timp 3s and see if it is any good. First, I will tell you the background story, how I ended up in a pair of Ultras. I started this year out by buying a new pair of trail runners and did a full review of that shoe. That one. The Craft Spartan at the time ticked all of the boxes for a great shoe. It was lightweight, had a really good grip and a good drainage system for the water to exit the shoe, for the shoe to dry very fast. But let me keep this story short by saying although it is a very good shoe with a good grip and everything, it didn't match my feet at all. It is too narrow and has too little cushioning. So after that experience I had to try to find something new. Ultra is famous for a good cushioning, wide toe box and zero drop and after my latest experience a good cushioning was on the top of my list, followed by the wide toe box and zero drop. Well, I wasn't too concerned about that. Ultra have a couple of different models to choose from, but the Tim 3s seem to be the perfect choice for me. Now let's look at the specs and the features on the Tim 3s. The Tim 3 has, like all the Ultras, zero drop and comes with an attachment system for your gaiters. They feature a 29mm sole and that is 4mm thicker than the Lone Peak 5s for more comfort. They also feature a stronger and more rubberized toe box for those times you bump into rocks and for grip a max track sole just like the Lone Peaks. Inside you have a removable insole that doesn't accumulate a lot of water which is good. The weight per shoe in size 10.5 is 284 grams on my scale. I have used my Team 3s for 200 kilometers now and here are five things I like about the Teams. The shape of the shoe perfectly matches my feet and they are wide enough in the toe box and at the same time narrow enough in the back for a great fit. They breathe very well and my feet never get too warm or too sweaty. They don't hold too much moisture and therefore they dry very fast. The rubberized toe box is great and has saved my toes more than once. And last but not least, the cushioning is great. Although the Timp 3s are superb in many ways, here are three things I don't like about the Timps. The grip is good, but not as good as the Vibram sole. The inner sole, well, I could say it's a gear failure. After 8 hours in heavy rain, the inner sole on my left foot gave up. It slid forward and folded itself underneath my foot, creating a very uncomfortable bump in the shoe. I ended up removing it, but anyway, it is not a good thing. The quality is not consistent, and a friend of mine had to send one pair back because the sole was loose. And on the new ones he got, they started to get loose also on the new pair after just 70 kilometers. Now, I am not experienced any problems regarding quality on my shoes and they are holding up just fine. But if you buy a pair, take a closer look at them and get them replaced if you see anything that potentially could be a problem. One thing I want to point out is the zero drop. For me, I could use them directly without any problems and the same goes for my friends. But I have also heard that it is beneficial to take it slowly for your body to get used to the zero drop. So I do recommend that you start slowly and see how your body reacts. So 
Is this a good shoe? Well, I think you already know what I'm about to say. This is the most comfortable shoe I have ever tried for hiking. And the performance out on the trail is amazing. I can nothing else but to recommend this shoe if you are looking for a trail runner for hiking. And now it is finally time to announce the winner of the giveaway. The winner of the Soto Helix Coffee Maker is... Vivica Andersson. Congratulations to you and I will contact you as soon as I can to get it chipped to you. And that's it for today and thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions to me regarding shoes or anything else, just leave a comment down below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Also, don't forget to subscribe to support this channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And thumbs up if you like this video. And I will see you next week. Bye bye!